Gemini, is he versus them for the 9th through the 16th. This video is for my Gemini's. Let's see how you guys felt about this person or your relationship with them. Whatever the connection is. Okay. Let's see. Gemini's feelings about this person. The relationship. Gemini's feelings about this person or relationship. Please show me. Five of Wands, there was always conflict, arguing, fighting, um, backbiting. So there's something about this person you felt like, you know, they weren't trustworthy here. This is Leo energy. Move that down a little bit. Let's see how they felt. How did this other person feel? How did the other person feel? Seven of Swords. They kind of felt like you guys were divided, like you were doing your own things. You guys weren't like, you know, a unit that you were kind of living your own separate lives, even though you guys were together and hurting each other here. Seven of Swords energy, Aquarius energy here. What's currently happening for my Gemini? What's going on with Gemini's currently? What's currently going on with Gemini's? Nine of Pentacles doing your thing. I think you guys are happier. Um, I think you have a peace of mind by, your, by yourselves. I feel like for some reason this person almost made you feel unsure of yourself but you know you're gaining momentum and um, you're quite confident I feel. I do feel like you guys are fin financially secure. Virgo energy here and um, there's a piece of you a part of you that is grateful for just the peace of mind that you have although you know you still think about this person of course they're still here you guys are here at this reading but I do feel like you're li living your best life um, apart from this person even though you still have feelings for this person overall like being single and away from them you know you feel like you're doing better okay what's currently happening for the other person what's currently happening for the other person queen of pentacles you kind of are on the same page here kind of on the same page i don't get that they're as happy as you are though um they may have more responsibilities than you guys actually have. This person may have, um, they may be paying child support or they may have like, um, they may be a, sing a single parent and just, you know, just having to, to take on a lot of responsibilities. I do feel like maybe this person, even though they may make more money than you, they don't have to, but it's just a, an example. They may make more money than you, but more of their money is going out to, you know, the many responsibilities that they have, I feel. Okay. I don't feel like they're as happy as you either because this, this queen of pentacles is, um, you know, they're wanting to be in a relationship, even if they aren't. They, they really miss being in a relationship and being with someone, having a counterpart. Okay. Again, uh. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy. What's influencing Gemini situation? What's influencing Gemini situation? Oh, got cards wanting to fall out. Let's see what those are. Just because I'm a curious cat. All right. Knight of Wands and the Ace of Pentacles. You guys are. As I was saying before my camera froze, you guys are going for the gusto here. Okay, and I feel like this is you exploring your financial endeavors. This is also some of you trying to figure out whether or not you want to be in a relationship. Um, and that's what the Knight of Wands is here for because you're looking back at the Nine of Pentacles thinking, you know, do I want to remain single or do I want to make an offer to someone? Do I really want to get into a relationship and start that again? Um, it didn't work out so well for me before, you know. So 
that's why this Knight of Wands is here. It's because the Knight of Wands has this energy of moving into things very fast, but moving out of things also just as fast. So you're kind of like on the fence here. I feel like, you know, you're not so, um, what is the word I'm looking for? You're not sold on whether relationships can last at this point. So I, I get that there's somebody in particular, whether it's this person or someone else that you guys are interested in, but you know, your faith is not there that it can really endure whatever the situation is for you. Okay. So that is your deck. What's influencing the other person? What's influencing the other person? Five of Pentacles. This person is hurt. They're hurt. They also feel rejected by you guys here because they really thought you guys were going to be together forever through thick and thin, through the shit storms and the like. <laughs> um, I feel like, too. This person is having a hard time, even though they make a lot of money, like I said before, they have a lot of responsibilities. So I feel like they're carrying all of it by themselves and they really would like somebody to share this with here. Taurus energy. <clears throat> What's coming in for my Gemini's? What's coming in for Gemini's? Page of Pentacles. Still contemplating what to do. For some of you, I'm sensing an apology, possibly, but I don't get that you are so geared up to make an apology, but you're thinking about it. Um, and again, some of you are thinking about like, moving forward with someone else doing something different and you are thinking about that you know you're kind of behind the curtain and kind of scared to not scared literally but like i don't know should i do this is this going to be beneficial for me am i going to get egg on my face you know this is a page so I don't get that you're all in when it comes to um, whatever opportunity this is, even though it presents itself well, or th this person presents themselves well, um, you're not sold. Like I said, okay. What's coming in for the other person? Please show me what's coming in for the other person. Four of Wands. Hmm. Is this an offer of marriage that you guys are thinking about? Four of Wands there. I see papers, legalities, Aries energy. Hmm. This is also stability for them, you know. Um, a peace of mind so I don't know if like you know somebody's moving in with them if you guys are moving in with this person if you guys are getting married or if this is just something that they're doing on their own because they I see they're in a financial pinch right here so you know just that peace of mind that happiness that serenity is coming in for them either from you guys or you know it could definitely be just the fact that they're getting their shit together and getting comfortable just being by themselves. Okay. What is the outcome here for Gemini's? What is the outcome here for Gemini's? Ooh. <laughs> Judgment. Hearing the call. What you gonna do? What you gonna do? Trump is blowing. is waiting on you. There's a decision that you have to make. And whatever decision this is, is gonna, I mean, it's gonna be for a while. So, whichever way you decide, 
you're going to have to live with that decision for a while there that scorpio energy with judgment do you want to start over with the world do you want to continue you know do you want to go another round with this person is what's on the table here what is the outcome for this other person what's the outcome for them the moon hmm I feel like this person is waiting on you and they don't know what it is that you're going to do. The unknown. I feel like, you know, the moon is here because the decision is in your hands and um, there's something that is hidden from them. Coming from you. The unknown. This person has very deep feelings for you. But what they don't know that I feel like, you know, anything, you know, that's in the dark when the light shines on it is, is not so scary. So I feel like, you know, just not knowing what you guys are going to do, like, is really uh, weighing on this person. Because I feel like they're okay. They're just not used to being like you know by themselves and they don't want to be by themselves but i get that they don't want to just be with anybody either i feel like they want to be with you guys okay so that's what i have for you guys and i'll be speaking with you soon bye